Welcome CounterWorks users. This video will demonstrate the new features contained in version 3.47.1. Let's start with the new features in invoicing. The first very small change is that miscellaneous paid out now shows up at the bottom of the transaction type list instead of in the middle. The next is a slightly bigger change. If you change the transaction type and that change causes it to wipe out all of the items on the screen, we will warn you before we wipe everything out. There is a new security setting in Quick Link 54 that requires users to enter their user ID and password when finalizing an open or quote ticket. When you finalize the open or quote, you are prompted for a user ID and password. This ID is then shown as the final user if you redisplay the invoice. Invoices can now be searched by PO number. The drop down list will show all of the POs that have been used. When you tab through the search by box, it will show a list of all invoices with that PO and let you scroll through and select one. You can route quotes to their own printer. This option is set up in Quick Link 54 on the Other tab. There is an option to require a manager's approval on price overrides. To set this up, you must first go into Quick Link 51, Update Users, and set up a user to not have permission to do price overrides. Then, back in Invoicing, when you press F11 to edit pricing, an ID and password that has permission to override prices must be entered. A new report is available in Invoicing. If the user has access to Quick Link 110, View Quick Order Log, this option now shows in the Reports drop-down. Also new, this report shows the warehouse from which the part was ordered. There is a new option which enables you to print warranty information on the invoice. In Quick Link 23, on the Other tab, is a checkbox, Always Print Warranty. If this is checked, it will print the warranty info on the invoice. We've added options to simplify the display in the Query Warehouse screen. There are now options to not display Can Use Parts and only show parts with quantity on hand greater than zero. Please note, it remembers this setting the next time you query the warehouse. There are a number of changes in cataloging. You can have cataloging show your line code descriptions instead of the defaults. This is set up in Quick Link 12 by checking the box Use Description in Cataloging. If you track items that your customers stock and they attempt to order one of those parts, the Add Part to Invoice pop-up will have a message in red that reads, Check Dealer Inventory. If you are using LaserCat 3, there are a number of changes there. We have switched the selling and list columns around so that they are in the same order as our standard catalog display. If you have a multi-store system, you can now see all stores' inventories. Simply click on the item and using the Items drop-down and do the Items drop-down, select Show All Inventories. 
There are changes in a number of other programs. In Customer Maintenance, Quick Link 4, the first thing you will notice is the email grid at the bottom of the screen. There are checkboxes for which entries get invoices and statements, and a phone number for each person. If you have customers with a lot of pricing exceptions, you can position to a specific line code quickly by typing in the Position to Line box. Also in Customer Maintenance, we have made it quicker to display an old invoice. Go to the Customer Transactions tab and double-click on an invoice to display it. This feature also works in QuickLink 131 Cash Receipts, QuickLink 22 Invoice Report, QuickLink 298 Part Ledger, QuickLink 23 Stocked Parts Maintenance on the last Invoice Number field, QuickLink 106 Customer Sales by Shopping Store, and the ultimate drill-down program QuickLink 511 Display Invoice Sales. In QuickLink 23, Stocked Parts, we've expanded the Demand History screen on the Statistics tab. In PO Edit, QuickLink 44, we've added Part Search capability by pressing F7. In QuickLink 78, print saved reports, there are a couple of changes. Barcode PO Receipts reports are now saved with a unique name. It also saves more copies of the price update reports than it did in the past. This program shows saved PDFs, and if you double-click on the PDF name, it launches Adobe Reader to view the file. If you use QuickLink 402 ASN Receipts, you will notice a new Download ASN button. Clicking on this will download the ASN files from your warehouse and load them into CounterWorks so that you can receive them. If you use QuickLink 408 Central Services, there is now an option to not print reports from Central Services. This feature can be activated by your CounterWorks coordinator. Price Labels. If parts are received at different prices, Labels uses the last price processed for printing labels. Customer Part Sales Analysis, QuickLink 160, now has an option for Top XX Parts. Inventory Evaluation, QuickLink 206, now has a print button. Barcode Inventory, QuickLink 453, now has a new option to print labels. Lost Sales Report, QuickLink 8, has a new option to sort by date. Records are now saved after marked as read and can be accessed in SQL reports. Time Clock Report, QuickLink 441 has improved formatting of the report.